Thank you for watching the TDC Heart Rods YouTube channel. Hi guys, so on tonight's agenda is when I mocked up the whole car, um, I pretty much mocked up everything. Well, I'm going to say 98%, 99% of everything before I ever painted under the hood. Um, well, one thing I didn't do was mock up the turbo feed and drain. Well, I knew how I was to do the drain, so that wasn't a big deal. Um, but I went to run the feed lines, and I had to do a little bit of cutting, a little bit of modifying. Um, well, I have to do a little bit of cutting and modifying. So I'm going to start with that tonight. I'm going to start cutting where I need to on the firewall um, to be able to run the feed lines, the turbo feed lines. And then wherever I cut, I'll go back and re and paint um, so then nothing rusts and it all looks good and everything's painted nice and neat. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to get started on that and I'll be back with you once when I'm done. So I got the, uh, where is my flashlight? So, oh, I might not need it. So originally I made this droop down the same angle as that all the way around. Well, the feed line needed to go in there and then it will come out. It went in there behind this boot and then it will come out and go down to the T where it's picking it up right above the oil filter. So on this side, I had to use, uh, I had to grind this out, um, but I made it look nice. I repainted it and it's all nice and smooth in there. Um, but that side's done. And well, I guess both sides are done. And this side I had to, this here came all the way down. Well, the other day I had to drill this hole here and kind of cut this out so then you could get to both clamps to tighten up both of them <clears throat> so uh, in addition to that is i finished cutting out this here because the feed line for this turbo will come in right here and then here i took a body saw and i cut that not like a human body saw um but a auto body saw a little miniature sawzall basically um and i cut that out there so then i can get to this feed line so yeah um i thought it turned out pretty nice i'm gonna go ahead and run my get my feed lines made now and yeah that will be the the next step Alrighty guys, so I got the feed, well this half of the feed line perfectly, I mean not perfectly, final mounted. Um, it's going to come out here under the charge pipe, run down to the back of the block to this side of the motor. And then you see I got this one ran up here, it's all sealed off, ready to go, tightened up. Um, I just need to get... One little adapter, which I forgot to get in town today when I was there. So I need to get one little adapter to tie it into the block. And then that side of it will be done. And while I was at it, I went ahead and built my uh, turbo drains. So 
I couldn't find anything that would work for me, so I went ahead and built them. Um, my nephew was able to um, water jet me out some flanges, which, by the way, is super handy if you guys ever have any machinist friends, because um, these two here are water jetted out, and they're sweet, super nice flanges. Um, and then... I just took some tubing and cut it at whatever angle I needed. See this this one, super basic, pretty straightforward. Um, had to come out at a little bit of an angle to be able to get the fitting, the AN line on there. This one, on the other hand, was a little bit, a couple different angles. Well, this angle is a little bit different than this angle, um, and it kind of comes out the side, as you can see. Anyways, um, but I got those done. So this one here is just a dash 10 AN line. You probably can't see in there, but I, um, shoot, I can't remember. I'm forgetting the name here. But anyways, I beveled the, in, the inside of this, just like I made the inside of this piece of tube match the flange here just to try to get it the absolute best flow that I possibly could um, but yeah that is what I got done all right guys um, thanks for watching this is uh, just kind of what I got done tonight so I got the body trimmed so then I could fit the oil feed lines on. I got the oil feeds built out of some 4AN uh, line. I just need that one little fitting from the hardware store and then I can put the feed lines, screw them into the block, um, and then I built my turbo drains tonight also. Um, so pretty successful night um it's starting to get pretty late so it's time to go in i'm gonna get up in the morning and get after it again until 7 30 or so and then it's time to go to work anyways um i should be able to get that fitting tomorrow my an fitting my two fittings i'm waiting for for the drain should be here tomorrow in the mail um so that if that happens then i will get the feed and drain completely finished tomorrow night um, for the turbos. I got to go into town. Yeah, Friday is when the rest of my tubing will be here to fit. I messed up one of the um, feed tubes that feed the water from the water pump in the back under the car up to the front. Um, <coughs> so that'll be here Friday. So I'll go ahead and get that on friday um so i'm not exactly sure what else i'm gonna do tomorrow but i got plenty to do um anyways enough of my blabbering um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one